Bonjour ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a video explaining the formation of cliffs and wave cut platforms. Wave cut platforms are an impressive coastal feature and an erosional landform that you lot need to know about. In the top left of your picture you have a diagram of this landform and in the bottom right you have a real life example. And to begin with we're going to be focusing mostly on this diagram here. So we are looking at the formation of cliffs and wave cut platforms and as already mentioned these are an example of an erosional landform. Therefore we must be aware of our different types of coast erosion before going any further. Our four types of coast erosion therefore are firstly hydraulic action which is simply the force of the waves crashing into the cliffs, abrasion or corrasion as it's sometimes known where waves hurl sand and pebbles against cliff faces which then wears them away gradually over time. Solution or corrosion as it's sometimes known where acids contained in the seawater will dissolve rock faces made out of certain rock types such as chalk or limestone. And finally attrition where rock particles carried by the waves crash against one another and are broken into smaller pieces. The three that we should be focusing most upon, however, whilst looking at the formation of cliffs and wave cut platforms are hydraulic action, abrasion and solution. Right, so it all starts then with the destructive waves crashing into the coastline and attacking the base of the cliff between high and low tide levels. In this diagram, you can see that the sea is currently at its low tide level but could also reach as high as this point at its high tide level. It is when the waves are crashing against the rock face between its high and low tide that the base of the cliff is being eroded through hydraulic action, abrasion and corrosion. Through these processes, the base of the cliff will gradually erode away with the eroded material being washed back out to sea in the backwash of the wave. This process continues occurring over and over again forming a wave cut notch, which is located on the diagram here. This wave cut notch becomes bigger and bigger until the overhang becomes too great and due to the force of gravity the cliff above will collapse, causing the fallen rock to be washed out to sea. This ongoing process will make the whole cliff retreat and over time it will move further and further inland, leaving behind a wave cut platform. This wave cut platform forms where the cliff face used to be and is exposed at times of low tide. They tend to be quite smooth and the reason behind this is because as fallen rock, eroded material and sediments are dragged back, back out to sea in the backwash, they smooth the wave cut platform via the process of abrasion. So to recap, the important points to remember in the formation of a wave cut platform are firstly the types of erosion, how these types of erosion lead to the formation of a wave cut notch, how the increased size of the wave cut notch eventually leads to the collapse of the overhang due to the force of gravity, and the retreating of the cliffs which leads to the formation of a wave cut platform which is visible at low tides. Well done for watching and listening through that and good luck.